Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. I'd like to talk to you for a minute about schizophrenia or rather drugs that mimic schizophrenia, technology that mimics schizophrenia. Um, I've been a targeted individual for a number of years now, as you could probably tell by my face. I have this burns on my head from microwaves, I have uh, circles under my eyes and lines and a white beard. I looked uh, 20 years younger about three years ago. So anyway, schizophrenia. If this is true, uh, I was watching some videos on YouTube about mimicking schizophrenia. What is it like for someone who has schizophrenia? And this video actually enlightened me to some interesting facts. It seems that people with schizophrenia hear voices uh, in their heads coming from they don't know where. They see strange things that aren't there, hallucinations. Um, the reason I brought this up is because watching this video was rather disturbing and I realized that that is what one of the things they did to us they exposed us to God knows what kind of MK ultra hallucinogenic drugs they exposed us possibly to some kind of chemtrails more gallons containing bio nano implant stuff self replicating self assembling some interesting concepts um, they basically drugged the shit out of us. Huge doses of I don't know what. And it took years, like a couple of years after they stopped dosing us with this stuff for me to come down. Um, I still have a lot of the same symptoms, the paranoia, the anxiety attacks, the fear. I still have the voices in my head. However, the voices in my head, I know it, it's not schizophrenia. I know that it's not uh, brain malfunction. How do I know this? Well, because I have a girlfriend named Petra who went through the whole thing with me. Lived in the same room, exposed to the same insects, the same chemtrails, the same bug crawling out of our skin, the same morgellons, the same voices. Amazingly, we both heard pretty much the same thing. Um, you know, how do I explain it to you? Let me see. Mind control, very sophisticated technology. I don't know exactly how it works. Here's some theories. Um, possibly they're using microwaves to stimulate a resonant reaction with, say, the water molecules in your cells or, say, multiplicative parts of your cells. Maybe the water molecules, maybe the DNA. Well, here's another theory implantation of nano microchips or nano material let's say we have a certain material that at a certain size will resonate to a certain microwave frequency kinda like making something that would specifically reflect a specific radar frequency now let's also imagine that each one of these microchips or why not microchips? Carbon nanotubules, they can be, as a material, they have the properties of a conductor, a semiconductor, an insulator, and also a superconductor. So if you can make uh, semiconductors and insulators and conductors out of the same material, you can basically create uh, transistors or diodes or capacitors or resistors or coils or, you know, there you go. That's a circuit right there. Every circuit we have is based on those things. Uh, resist reactants, RC, coil filters. Anyway, I'm going on and on and on. The thing is this. If each microchip is individually addressable, a unique user ID, and why shouldn't it have? This is nanotechnology. This is building things on the atomic level, okay? Using atoms to build materials. This is the future of material science. Anyway, I, I babble a lot because of this craziness. Um, oh, don't forget the microwave burns here on my throat also. Um, anyway, if you embedded a human being with these microchips, 
and we're talking about nanotechnology, we're talking about things, you know, a tenth or even a hundredth or a thousandth the size of the width of a human hair. Now, in a particulate aerosol could be sprayed and that kind of stuff could go all over your skin, it would go right into your pores, it would embed itself deep into your pores and then the uh, DNA takes over or whatever. And I'm not talking about my DNA, I'm talking about the DNA of the particulate, of the nanotechnology. Now this is a material that I believe DARPA has been working on. If you look for some requests for proposals under DARPA, Defense Advanced Research uh, Administration, they do all this kind of work. And one of the things they were looking to build was materials that perform as though they're alive, but aren't alive. Now what does that mean? Well, that means things that would self-replicate. That means things that would grow themselves according to some pattern, like DNA. Uh, we're talking about nanotechnology. We're talking about things that are so small, they could literally use the parts inside of a cell as tools, as machines. They can build them, rebuild them, take them apart. They can use the elements in your body or anywhere else to manufacture more of themselves. So this technology is not... So this technology is not uh, undoable. It's here. We have it. They're just not telling us about it. Chemtrails, Morgellons, mind control. Okay? I don't know how else I can say it. You know? Mind control. That inner voice, that inner dialogue that you hear inside when you're thinking to yourself. This has been decoded by the artificial intelligence and the supercomputers. Okay? I have many examples of perps following me around, reading each other text messages of what I was thinking at that moment. Many examples. I have many examples of the people, the voices inside my head, talking about the things that are in my environment. Now I know in schizophrenia that's basically what happens. Some part of your brain is malfunctioning or possibly your splitting left and right hemispheres. I don't really know. I haven't done any research on schizophrenia. I'll have to do some so I can talk as though I know what I'm talking about. But this is the closest thing. The voice-to-skull technology, the remote neural connectivity, basically focusing in on something on your body till it resonates. And resonate, resonate is like, you know, if you're looking at the graph, the graph suddenly goes, boo, and it resonates. You find that resonant frequency that vibrates and it increases the amount of energy. I'm trying to find a match here so I can continue smoking my cigarette. Um, excuse me. I don't have a light. I don't have a match. Crazy, crazy world. Anyway, schizophrenia is uh, the closest thing I could come up with. Uh, now I'm up in the Faraday cage up here, which doesn't seem to do much. I haven't finished it, actually. It's not quite done. Okay, I got a light. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, schizophrenia. So, I just, I couldn't believe it when I saw those movies. And those of you who are targets, you know. You know about the voice to skull. You know what it's like to have some jerk off talking in your head all day about everything you do. It's like having a peanut gallery. I hear it right now. Blah, 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 blah. I try not to pay it much mind, but sometimes it really gets to you. I'm a little out of breath. Yeah, I was murdered about three years ago by my own government. Some kind of crazy top secret program. I just haven't fallen down dead yet. Most of my teeth have fallen out. My hair's falling out. <laughs> my beard's turning white. I look like death warmed over, you know? I was actually a handsome, young, attractive, vibrant, intelligent human being. Uh, and the truth of the matter is that once I figured out sort of what was going on, that we were being targeted and that uh, we were being drugged and that we were being monitored and mind controlled and gang stalked and poisoned and more gallons and infested and infected and, you know, uh, once we sort of figured out what was going on, I looked back. I looked back over my entire life to find clues, clues that would say, you know, is this happened anytime sooner? When did it start? 
where did it start? How did it start? And I couldn't tell you. It seems like, for a fact, I know for a fact, this has been going on for at least six, seven, eight years, maybe. But when I look, I actually really look, it seems like it's possible that this has been going on for like my whole life. You know, since I was born. I don't know, I was adopted. Uh, turns out my birth mother has people following her around. Anyway, I, I digress. I go on and on and on. Um, I guess that's it for now. Watch the video. Look it up on YouTube. It's called Mimicking Schizophrenia or something like that. Very interesting video. For those of you who are targeted, you will notice right away the similarities. One of the things they're doing is mimicking schizophrenia in us. I don't know whether that's because they want us to be schizophrenic, or maybe it's easier to control somebody who's schizophrenic, or maybe it's just the way the drugs and the electronics work. I don't know. I was reading a, a uh, an abstract of a, a technical paper, and they were saying that... Um, Based on this research, we conclude that uh, the, we will be able to stimulate the effects or simulate the effects of any drug or chemical in the human brain using microwave radiation. They basically discovered that by using small enough wavelengths and stimulating exact parts of the brain, they can basically mimic the function of the brain. Or not mimic, but get it to do things, release neurotransmitters, send signals. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, God bless you all, especially those of us who are suffering and targeted. And for those who don't believe in God, bless you too. Take care, friends.